It's your girl Becky and I'm back for another sketch venture today. We are currently at Kowloon Park, which is one of the parks in the middle of um, sort of the cityscape of Hong Kong on the Kowloon side. And I was honestly feeling a little bit groggy, a little bit sleepy today. So I thought, you know what, let's just get up and get out. The sun is shining quite brightly today. I think it's about 24 degrees Celsius and it's actually pretty hot but I'm currently wearing like long jeans and a covered t-shirt. And the reason being is because yesterday in this weather, I came up with shorts and I did wear a t-shirt as well, but I just got a lot of mosquito bites. So I actually had to cut that session short. I just couldn't do it. It was just too much itchiness, too much distraction. And my painting was just left halfway. Um, I'll talk about that in a bit about why I decided to still put that as my day 15 of plein air but now we out here it's day 16 we're more than halfway there we can do it let's go so today's not too crowded in the park which I am quite happy about because as I'm recording videos like this I'd love for it to not be noisy so that y'all can hear what I'm saying um, but you know if the noise is coming from these water stuff then I'm completely okay with it because I don't think it gets in the way of my voice, but I don't know. Maybe if I end up editing this out, then it is too noisy. The whole reason why I decided to come here is because I knew. Like, I discovered this just a few months ago with my friend, and I don't know why we discovered it so late. But there are flamingos, guys, like smack dab in the middle of Hong Kong. And I just... You gotta meet them. Oh my god, look at how many they are. So this is where I am at currently. It's at this like little bridge that oversees, I guess, two parts of a tiny pond. And I think I'm just gonna sketch the flamingos from over here, you guys. Like, what do you think? Don't you think this is a great place? Oh, there are fishies as well. I wonder if I can come back here tomorrow for the next day and get these fishes in. Cause look at how pretty they are. Oh my god. All right, the flamingos are quite loud, so I'm hoping that you guys can hear me. So this is a cutting mat, the same one that I showed you guys the previous time. I'm using the same one. I decided I would just stick to it because I quite like how easy it is to set up. So I just put on some clips here at the top of the sketchbook and I will just hold the sketchbook open with my hand. And I have an art toolkit clipped right here. I've already misted my watercolors a little bit so that it won't be too hard to get the pigment onto my brush because the past few days I've sort of just been, you know, smashing the pans with my water brush and even though I could get pigment that way, it was just hard because it was really transparent so I'm just trying to soak this paint a little bit in water and see what kind of difference it makes also, I'm already feeling a little bit of mosquito bites. Gosh, I don't know how I'm here for like five minutes and I already feel it. So we're not going to take long. We're just going to do this and then we're going to peace out. I'm trying to figure out what I want to be the focal point. And I think I'm going to pick that tree where all the flamingos are going under for a shade. So we're going to start with that. The water is like super green, which means I guess there's a lot of like moss and algae growing in there, which um, not too surprising, but also like, god, gross. Ah, uh, oh well. Okay, so this is where the shadow line is from what I'm seeing. So this is gonna be dark green, the tree's gonna be... Let me just actually just sketch it in. It wouldn't be too much trouble for me to sketch it in. Okay, I don't know if I could get the top of the trees that are in light. Definitely the dark parts of it. It's actually gonna be a really interesting sketch to draw because there's so much light and shadow play here, which is always a good challenge. I am admittedly not the best at it, but we're here to learn. And hopefully you guys are learning as well as I'm doing this. I'm already starting to see a challenge here is because the light is moving 
so this was a new area that I need to stop and just make sure that this is as far as I go in blocking in the new shadows because I can already see that the shadows are going to move in this direction which means that um, everything here is going to be in cast in shadow really soon so I have to capture these colors while I can let me just start here first because everything else is going to be shadow anyway so I can always work on that later but for this part I need to work on it now because they're just going to disappear in a bit I'm just put, putting some yellow ochre and white over this whole thing because it's a bit more yellow than I see it oh sorry than, than what's on the sketchbook right now so this trick of painting in the lights first was not something that I knew it was only because um, a few videos ago I tried sketching a storefront and I kind of lost the light and I realized that I could actually still figure out how the colors work in shadow because they were inadvertently still in shadow because it was the sun going up oh sorry the sun yeah the sun going up so there's more shadows that are appearing but and not the other way not from dark to light it's going from light to slightly darker and so I learned my lesson there so I'm just gonna focus on this now okay, I'm gonna try and get this whoa okay so I'm not used to this being super I'm not used to the paints being like really wet so it's actually really easy to pick up color And I really like it, but I'm just not used to how strong this is, but it's okay. We are learning new things about our palette every day. I'm just starting going from foreground to background. Since the background is the darkest and in watercolor, you kind of want to go for the darkest bits first oh sorry the lightest bits first whoa that is like dark okay i'm not sure how this is gonna be this is gonna show up but we're just gonna keep at it hope for the best Okay, I'm gonna start with the greens now with this big tree I realize this painting is keying very 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 green but it's okay we will try to make sure the flamingos really pop out when we put in when we put them in figure out how to put in really bright yellows here I'm not sure if it's working Not the best at drawing flamingos. Let's see if I can allude to them. I see I can go over them brighter. So towards the back, I'm just going to simplify them to the simple shapes which is their head and a blob 
And I know they don't look like flamingos, but you kind of get the gist. Let me see if I can also put a dark detail on just one. One is enough to let you know. Is that enough? Yeah, I think so. All right, this is the flamingo painting. All right, we wrapped up the sketch and we're done with more than halfway through Planiferal. Um, I'm just currently finding a quiet spot to chat with you guys and have a little heart to heart uh, because that spot for some reason got really crowded with uh, kids voices. I mean, I tried to edit all of that out so you could hear me, but if you didn't, I'm really sorry. And yeah, so oh, let's park down and sit. But yeah, inadvertently, I did get bit by a few more mosquitoes. Um, it's fine. It's it's not something that's going to kill me. So I'm totally fine with that. And we wrapped it up in 15 minutes anyway. So it was still a pretty good session, I would say. Tell you what was I going to talk to you about? Oh, yeah. Doing it from the long run. So this is a day every day for 30 days, right? Like it's not an easy thing to do. Like it's a lot of struggle. And of course, ideally, we would want our best work on every single day of those 30 days. But it's just not possible like there's just gonna be days where there are just bad circumstances and you can't do anything about it or there are days where the painting doesn't turn out the way you want it something's going on like life's really busy so you only have like 10 minutes instead of the usual 30 minutes for example like all these things are possible and of course you can always keep redoing it say you're not happy with a painting it is possible for you to redo it and just post the one that you like more but i'm in the belief that it is better for you to just count that as progress anyway, take that off and then move on. Because I think what's gonna happen is, for example, if you start to make these concessions where you're only going to post the best work you want that day, you're gonna end up with 40 paintings instead of 30. And I think it just will lead you more to burnout. The goal is not to produce 30 good paintings in April. The goal is to produce 30 paintings. I think it's just helpful to be mindful of that goal and know that at the end of the day, we're all doing this to progress to be better that's what really matters it's not having a curated instagram feed where you're really proud of everything because honestly you should be proud of yourself like you're doing really great work if you've managed to do like 15 days back to back half of plan april holy heck that's like really good you produced like 15 paintings this month that is crazy and i do hope that you take the time to be grateful for what you've done appreciate your skills see where you're growing and just enjoy the whole point of painting outside is to take in nature and enjoy don't let the pressure of plan april just put too much pressure on yourself because it might suck the joy out of it and you just want to have fun that's the goal anyhow if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really helps this channel if you do also hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this pop up which i post twice a week now yeah let me know how you're doing for plan april like leave a comment down below if you're doing it or if you're just enjoying watching all of the pretty paintings that have cropped up i would love to know how involved you are in plan april if you're painting go you you've gone halfway you're really great and if you're not then i hope you do get inspiration and some joy out of seeing everyone do this process because honestly it is pretty great all right i've been becky you've been great i'll see you next time bye